Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss about a part of pediatrics that is growth and development. We will be discussing three main topics of growth and development. First one is the definition of growth and development. Second is rules of growth and development. And third is the main period of growth and development. Okay, so now without wasting a second, let's jump into the main topic. First one, definition of growth and development. Okay, so what is the definition of growth and development? Growth that means the increase in number and size of the cells that means the growth. If the number and size of the cells increase that means the tissue mass will also increase and this tissue mass will later on it will increase the size of the organ and ultimately the body growth. While the development we can define development as the acquirement of the newer functions or the myelination of central nervous system. Well, discuss about acquirement of the newer functions. What does that mean? Acquirement of the newer functions, it is the newborn will start to learn about sitting, standing, walking, etc. These are the functions, uh, these are the developments that the baby gained over a period of time and the as per the second definition myelination of central nervous system myelination of central nervous system it is the central nervous system includes brain and spinal cord and there are the cells these cells are called as oligodendrocytes that are present in the brain and spinal cord what does this what does these cells do these cells wraps their branch like extensions around the axons axons to create or form a myelin sheath as you can see here this, these are the oligodendrocytes this is the oligodendrocyte that is wrapping their sheath like extensions around the axon and they are forming the uh, myelin sheath all right so furthermore let's jump into the second topic that is rules of growth and development basically there are three rules of growth and development the first one that's a basic rule it is a continuous process the second one it is cephalocaudal as a whole but distal to proximal end limbs now what does cephalocaudal means yes you heard it right cephalo that means head and caudal that means the toe or here we can say the distal part function begins from head to toe this is the perfect meaning of cephalocaudal now for example, newborn will start to have the head control first, then to then he will learn to sit, then he will learn to stand, etc. So, so the functions will develop from head to toe in a cephalocaudal fashion. The another is that another part distal to proximal end limbs. What does that mean? It means that the newborn will learn to move fingers first, then forearm and then arm. All right. So the third and the last rule is sequence is always the same or uniform, but the rate may differ. One kid may start sitting early than the another kid before two or three months, but you will never ever find any kid who started learning uh, to stand first and then to sit. This kid may be the super baby. Okay, just kidding. But the sequence is always remain uniform but the rate may differ by two or two months or three months guys also if you are enjoying this video a subs would be massively appreciated i had just started a channel but tons of videos are on my way so now we will be discussing the periods of growth and development in newborn you will learn it by a mnemonic o embryo Fall never in Tapsa. Tapsa was the name of my tutor. Okay, leave that. The first one it is ovum. Ovum that is the conception to the 14 days. It is called as ovum. Then the embryo. It is 14 days to 9 weeks. It is called as embryo. Fetus is from 9 weeks to the birth. Then we will know a term. We will learn a term. A term that is perinatal period. What is perinatal period? It is the period between the 22 weeks of gestation to the 7 days of life. Then the fourth one is the neonate. 
neonate is birthed to the four weeks it is called as neonate but it is subdivided into two categories early neonate and late neonate early neonate that is 0 to 7 days that is the first week and late neonate it is 8 to 28 days that is second to fourth week then the fifth one is the infant infant is from birth to the one year of life but if the question is asked like if the baby is of uh, five weeks then what will be the answer then the it will be the late neonate phase because infant is a topic and neonate is a subcategory of it but to be so specific neonate will be the answer late neonate toddler the sixth one toddler that is one to three years of life seventh one is a preschool preschool age is from three years to six years eighth one is school age that is six years to 12 years of life and adolescence adolescence that is 10 years to 20 years of life but it is also subdivided into three categories early mid and late adolescence early adolescence that is 10 to 13 years totally about four years mid adolescence that is 14 to 16 years that is three years and late adolescence that is 7 to